That's a nice shot. Great ball. Look at that. Nice. Really good. Thank you. Hey kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Aussie here. Now today we're going to learn about a sport called boccia. But what is boccia you ask? Well if you haven't seen it before then you are in for a real treat because this sport is awesome. And I thought why not learn from one of the best. So we are going to meet local Australian hero Dan Michelle to teach us all about this great sport. Oh and did I mention that Dan Michelle is the best yeah. in the whole world at Boccia. That's right kids, we are in for a real treat today. Let's go and learn. Okay kids, so today we are lucky enough to be joined by Dan and Ash. Now these two guys team up to create an amazing team to play this sport called Boccia. So Dan, Ash, how long have you been playing this sport? Yeah, we've been playing together since 2013, so nine years. Wow. Um, yeah, when, when I first started playing for Australia, so yeah. Okay. And how old were you when you first started playing the game? When I first started playing the game, I was 15. 15. Um, I discovered it at a cup and try day. Okay. For uh, multi-sport, all sorts of different sports have been shown. I tried boccia and it was a sport I could play, so I dove right in. Okay, so you're obviously a bit of a sport fanatic. Love sport. Yeah, yep. always love sport, watching footy, uh, soccer, whatever really. I watched it all when I was growing up and um, unfortunately because of my disability, I could never play any of them and um, always wanted a sport to play. And, when I found Boccia, that was my, you know, my path to, to play sport. Absolutely. So sport is for everybody. Absolutely. So for the kids out there that are in a wheelchair or potentially yep. have a disability that think that they don't have a sport to go to. There's a sport there for you, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yep. So can I ask the obvious question, Dan? Um, you're in a wheelchair? Yes. What, do, what is your disability? My disability is called spinal muscular atrophy, type okay. 2. So it's a neuromuscular condition. Basically, my uh, neurons don't talk to my muscles and, and they get weaker and I'm not able to move them. So okay. I've been in a wheelchair since I was five years old. Wow. Um, and yeah, never been able to walk or anything like that. And I rely obviously on people to help me with lots of stuff. So yep. yeah. And this is where you rely on Ash That's to play right. the game of Boccia. Absolutely. So Ash is my arms and legs in Boccia and you know, right. she moves the ramp around and puts the balls on it and does all the physical stuff I can't. And I'm kind of the brains behind the operation. All right. <laughs> You've got some brains yeah, too, Ash, I'm sure. Be. Yeah. Very important team. How important is it to find the right partner in a Massive, sport like this? Massive, especially in Boccia in the BC3 classification with the ramp. It's crit critical, really. You have to have very um, good communication and um, you only have six minutes to play all your balls, so it has to be done very succinctly and um, you don't want to have someone who doesn't know what you're saying or doesn't really understand what they're supposed to be doing. So, yeah, creating that really good relationship is critical. Yeah, absolutely. Now. Ash does a lot of the, the moving the balls and moving the ramp yep. um, and then you use a special piece of equipment to push the balls down yes. because you don't have the use of your hands to yes. push them down, is that right? That's right, so I use a mouth pointer so I hold it in my mouth. Um, other players use head pointers so it's like a little helmet they wear with the pointer right. on it. Um, some people use their hands or they use a stick, a pointer in their hands that they can use. Um, there's so many different ways you can push a ball off the Sometimes ramp. Sometimes Dan even pushes it off with his head. Yeah, okay. I can even hit it with my head. Yeah, so it just depends. There's so many different ways to do it. Okay. As long as the athlete is the last person to touch the ball, it's all it's all it's all good to go. Right, okay. So Ash can set everything up. Yep. And then you've got to physically push, push the, the ball, ball off the ramp. That's right. Okay, very good. Now speaking of equipment, you've got a pretty specialized piece of equipment over here. Yes. The ramp. 
where do you find one of these things? And so I have this ramp all custom made. Okay, um, wow. I there are ramps available on the on the on the market, and um, there are some very good ramps. But I found a joiner in Sydney, a, a woodworker who was really keen to work with me to make a nice botcher ramp, and we went through the whole design together and. Um, constructed this entire ramp from scratch just from an idea in my head so wow yeah I think if you if you want to be really good um, a, lo a lot of the best players get theirs made specifically to to how they want it to make sure that they're achieving the right speed and the right level of accuracy and stuff like that yeah so, okay cool yeah. and then you've got little numbers on here yes and then when you're playing you yes. tell Ash you know I want a specific ball and I want yep. it placed at number 20 that's right so something that's, like that that's how I tell Ash where on the ramp to place the ball in a fast way um, so that I get the right speed on the shot. Yeah. Yeah, great. Now you mentioned before classifications. Yes. There's multiple classifications there in are. the sport of boccia. Yeah, so there's four classifications. Um, I'm in what's called BC3, which is for players who use ramps, and we only compete against other players who use ramps. And then there's throwing classifications as well, BC1, 2, and 4. Uh, and they are for people who can throw the ball with varying levels of ability. Right. So BC1 uh, is for people with cerebral palsy. Uh, BC2 is for people with cerebral palsy as well, but slightly better ability. And BC4 is for um, people with non-cerebral palsy, but they can still throw the ball. So okay. it's, it does a classification for every disability, really. Yeah, great. So you've been playing boccia for a number of years. Yep. You've competed in tournaments all around the world. Yep. What is, what's your biggest or best achievement? So far, I've had some really great achievements, but my, my number one would be um, winning the bronze medal in Tokyo last year at the Paralympic Games. Um, that Which was I believe really we're massive. going to get to see today. 100%, I've brought it in for oh, you, so get excited. Um, but yeah, look, that was massive. We hadn't won a medal in Boccia uh, since 1996. Wow. And it was the first medal uh, ever for an individual player. Amazing. Our last medal was won in a pairs event. So okay. uh, for me to make that kind of um, history was really awesome. And um, hopefully next time I'll upgrade it to a gold. Oh, that'd be nice. That would be. We'll turn the bronze into a gold. That's it. That'd or be the awesome. rose gold, which a lot that's of people it. call the bronze. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's that's very pretty. A, yes. Now, you did mention that's an individual yeah. medal, yeah. but you and Ash are a team, right? But yes. that's that's classified as an individual. Yeah, so both, sport, me, both me and Ashley win a medal, so she has a medal at home too. Yeah, how which good. Which is awesome, but yeah, it's an individual competition. So um, it's me and Ash against um, another person, their ramp operator. And then a pairs event would be me and Ash with my teammate and their ramp operator right. against another team or two with their ramp operator and, and okay. themselves. So, cool. yeah, so we're considered one sort of unit. Yeah. All right. Now, we're still speaking about metal sort of, so can yeah. we maybe, can Let's you show me? Look at yeah, 100%. Yeah. Here he is. So you can can get, I pick it up? Yeah, grab it, get it out, have a, have a look at it. it look it at this. So kids, this is an actual bronze medal from the Tokyo Paralympics. Now check that out. It feels pretty weighty. It feels heavy. It's got some weight to it. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out with Dan and Ash's permission. Wow, that that is chunky. Yeah. It is so beautiful though. It's, it's pretty awesome. And at the bottom, it's got how we won. What it does. We won. Yeah, it's got the event that we won at the bottom. Oh. Um, That's really cool. So yeah. it's pretty indiv it's pretty individualized and, and special. Yeah. Botcha, individual BC3 so the classification it. at yeah. the end. That's right. All right now, did you who did you beat? To, to win this in yeah. the bronze medal match. Do you so, mind if I put it on? Yeah, put it on. Yeah, 100%, yeah. Um, so I played against... Does um, it suit me? It sure does, Pops, yeah. Makes your eyes pop. <laughs> Thank you, Ash. Um, we, um, I played in a pool group, obviously. Um, had There was four of us in the pool group. Um, Boccia is such a, a like international sport. There's just um, players from everywhere, really. Um, right. So it's, it's you know very, very competitive, in my opinion stands up to any sport in the world in terms of its level of competitiveness. So um, some of the best players are, are Koreans, Greeks, um, the guy from the Czech Republic, Japan. Um, okay. There's lots of different countries, Brazil. There's lots of countries where there's lots of good players. So for me, I played a guy from GB in the bronze medal match. Um, right. A guy who um, was quite an inspiration to me when I first started playing the sport. He's been around for a long time. So for me to beat him in the bronze medal match was really awesome for me to, to be able to do that. That's yeah. great. Now, for the kids out there that are intrigued and want to give Watcher a, a go. How old do you have to be can, to try it? Yeah, look, I've, I've seen really young kids playing, you know, from, from the age of seven or eight years old. Great. So um, it really is for everyone. And, and the longer you play it, the better you get. And, um, and yeah, the more fun it becomes. So get in as early as you like and, and have a go, yeah. And where could kids play it? Where can they try it? So yeah, there's, there's clubs around, um, not many of them. We're trying to grow the sport. Yeah. But, um, there are clubs around, but you can play really wherever you want. You can play it in your, in your living room. I've done that myself in yep. the backyard. Um, 
it really is a sport you can just sort of have a go anywhere and have a bit of fun for sure. That's great. Yeah. Now that brings us to the equipment. Where do you get a set of boccia balls from? So me, I get them from overseas, um, from, a, from Korea, oh. these ones. Um, he's probably the best manufacturer of boccia balls in the world. And okay. Most people use his balls, but there's manufacturers everywhere. There's a, a company in Denmark, there's a company uh, in Australia as well who makes boccia balls. Right. Um, so yeah, there's, there's lots of different options. Excellent. Now, they have to be regulation to play in a competition, they do. is that right? Yes. Yeah. So these ones are all my older balls. So with um, these being your older balls, yes. are these the ones that you won that medal with? These are, these belong to uh, Tokyo, yep. So these are, um, yeah, these are pretty awesome balls. Um, very, hold a very special place in my heart. But, Absolutely. Um, they, the rules change and now they have to be um, all, uh, certified by um, World Boccia, our governing body. Stamp. Okay, And that little Biz stamp, fed. yep, mm -hmm. is, is, um, is the licensing for the balls, so. Every ball has to have that stamp and they all get checked before the competition to make sure that they're legal. Okay. Yeah. So as I'm holding these, I, I'm noting that, that this one is really quite squishy. Yep. This one in particular, I can't squish that. That's yep. really hard. Yep, absolutely. So why? <laughs> yep, so there's, uh, as you've got there, a really soft, a really hard, and everything in between. So uh, in Boccia, it's a lot about strategy and you want to really have uh, different balls for different shots. Um, so softer balls are really good if you're trying to get close to the jack. Uh, it makes it really hard for the opponent to knock that ball right. away because okay. it's hard to move. And likewise, if you're the opponent, you want to move that ball, you're going to need a pretty hard one to, to make it happen. So um, you need hard balls, you need soft balls, you need all, all balls throughout the middle to, to get the different shots achieved that you want to achieve. Yeah. Great. All right. And the more you play, the more you get used to which balls are going to do the right thing that you want it Absolutely to do. Absolutely right. Yeah, right. that's right. You become friends with your balls and you actually yeah. even name you them. Yeah, name them, 100%. Right? Yeah. This one's got Neptune written on it. Yep. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Now, Dan, um, Paralympics, is that one of your greatest achievements so far? It would have to be, it would have to be. Um, I've also, I won bronze at the last World Championships as well. Right. Um, I've won five World Cups. So Massive. I've had some pretty decent success, but Paralympics is obviously the top of the tree in Boccia and um, it's the most important sort of competition in our, in our sport. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for Paris to, to go again, but before then I've obviously got World Championships December this year, where I hope to, hope to go to number one there as well and get the gold, so that'd be awesome. Excellent, mate. Well, I wish you all the best, but um, in the meantime, maybe we should play a little game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Maybe you can teach me a few things yeah. and um, see if, if Ozzy's got any botcher skills. Absolutely, let's do it. All right, let's go. Yeah. So when I start the game, I can throw the jack Anywhere in this box, six yeah. meters, five, whatever yeah, it is. Six by ten, yeah. Six by you ten. can throw it anywhere within that in that blue box. Yeah, so exactly. All out the back corner. All out the back corner. So that, that's gonna be hard for you to get your ball next to it. It will, and it'll be hard for you too. It's gonna be hard for me. Yes. So that's you right. gotta be, you know, selective about where you put the Absolutely. Jack. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna take a seat. And then the idea is to sit it on this side. That's right, box, because you so want it to be further from, from me and closer to you. That's right. Okay. And I'm sitting inside the box yeah. and I'm gonna go. Back in the a bit of spin. Okay, let's pop them over here. Good start. Is that a good style? That's a good style, yep. I like it. So now, now you choose one of your softer balls. Soft ball? Yep, and yep. you try and get as close as you can. And also try and block my angle as much as you can at the same time. Okay, all right, so I've selected a soft ball. Yep. All right, and this doesn't have a name. So I think it's only fitting that being my very first ever throw yep. in Boccia. I'm going to call it Aussie. Yeah, let's do it. Is that all right? I agree, yeah, let's do it. All right, so I'm going to see if I can get it as close as I can to that jack. It's not too bad, sir. Well, it's, it's not too bad, it's, it's not great. I've seen, I've seen worse, I've seen better. So <laughs> now but, it's my turn, so I'll try and get my ball as close as I can to that jack. Yeah? Okay, so you go straight away. I don't I don't get to do my second ball yet. Unfortunately not, no. Okay. Go a little bit right. away. A bit away. A bit more. Okay, right, right, right. A little bit to the left, stop way. A bit left, stop. A bit right, stop there. Yeah, that's good. We'll go with Ricky. Okay, we're gonna go from 16. Down one bit. And Dan's going with Ricky. Sticky 16. Ricky, I think it That's is. Him. Yep. The big soft ball. 16.25. Not bad for a beginner, Dan. Yeah, Not bad right. for a beginner. <laughs> 
All right, so, so you're, I want to use a hard ball. A hard ball, yeah. Yep. And then um, for this shot, you should probably throw it underarm and as long the, along you, the ground. So you're allowed to throw underarm. You can throw it however you like. Yeah, yeah you like. however you like. You can, you can bowl it like if you like. Yep, absolutely. And well, uh, you're going to want to try and throw it nice and hard to knock my ball away from the jack. All right. But, but I can, can I move my chair? You can absolutely, yeah. Okay. Right, and I don't want to try and knock yours out of the way. That's it. Oh, this is Blinky. This is Blinky. All right, Blinky Bill. Oh, he got the side of it, but it hasn't done too much. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look. Okay, so kids, my foot is over the line. So that is a foul. That's a foul shot. Okay. Oh, look, I'm learning as I'm going. Yeah. Um, so now it's your, 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 your shot again because my ball's still closer. Okay. So you would use another hard ball probably and try again to knock that right out of the way. Well, I've had a bit of a practice shot. Let's see if I yeah. can get it this time. That's right. That yeah, that's oh, quite thanks, good. Ash. Yeah. I like the encouragement because that's kids, it. you're never going to be amazing at something the first time you try that's it. That's right. But if you keep trying and you work hard, you can be as good as Dan one day. Now I'm going to throw or roll Ken. Come on, Kenny. You can do it, Kenny. Oh. That's all right, you've moved your own ball. And I'd like to say that I meant to do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now, yeah, it depends who's closer here, so maybe still blue. blue. Okay. So you have another shot? Another one. Jeez, I feel like I'm hogging the game here, man. <laughs> well, well, that's good to, for you, right? You're if you're someone's going, constantly right. trying to get that's closer it. to you, it and means you're that I have more balls left. To, and there's more pressure on me. That's right, to do stuff with, so. Okay. i can use this one. Neptune. Here we go. All right. There we go. That's a nice shot. Great ball. Look well at that. Played. Really good. Thank you. Yeah, look, years of bocce. That's it. So bocce. Now, All right, so now, now it's your turn go. again. Yep. So we'll move on to the line. All right, I'm not competitive, but That's I do it. like to win. Do like to win. A little bit to the right. A little bit to the left. Imagine beating one of the best in the world. <laughs> You watch this though, he's going to come out and just clean That's up my balls. What's, what are you going to go for, Dan? So are you going to go for a hard well, shot? I'm going to go for a hard shot, but I'm not going to move your balls. I'm just going to try and knock my red ball up onto the jack. Okay. So I'll use Ken from 18.5. Um, okay. Fair way up the ramp. So I've noticed, Ash, yeah. sometimes you use this little rest. Yeah, thing down so here and sometimes you don't. With that, that's just for anything below 13, uh, 14, I'll use the ball holder. Okay. And then the slides for anything on this one or when we put the extension on up high. So this goes higher? Yeah, yeah. We'll do a if you're playing real long distance. Yeah, or if okay. you want to do a really hard knock. Super hard. Oh, he goes good, this so, guy. He's, he's very good, kid. So that's that why is, he's one of the best in the world. Let's have a look. So uh, are you allowed to roll out or walk out when it's your turn, you are. Oh, so I can't go? You can't, well, not right. Technically, no, but, but for the purpose of today. today also, Usually the referee would have a look, but today we're the referee. See how close that is? Like, yeah, super close. Only like two mil away. And mine's three. touching it. But you're still, so, still winning. So I'm closer, so your, it's so your shot your again. again. Okay. Not bad at all. Oh, just bounced off. So now you need one more ball between those two blues, I think it'll be a nice block. Okay. And the yeah, one to do it there. is, I think it says Ken. Um, oh, that might be his name. Palm. Oh, yeah. Palm tree. Oh, nice. All right. I'm going to channel that palm tree by the beach. Stay calm, like a palm. Oh, that's not where I want it. That's a little bit wide. So now I've got four balls, and, and I'm going to try clean and, it up, I'm going to try and score as many points as I can. <laughs> so, so Dan's I, already definitely got one point. That's right, and I'm going to try, try and get, get more. Five. So how I score more is by if I can get more of my balls closer than, to the jack than your closest ball, I would get a point for each of those balls. Okay. So right now, because you've got a ball that's really close, I'm going to try and knock that as far away as possible nice. to make some space, and then yep. I'll try and score Park some your more other points. balls in there. That's right. All right, so we've got an extension on the ramp here and we're going to go higher yep. to give us more speed to hit my blue ball out That's of the it. way. And then we're going to use my hardest ball, Yogi. What's so this one called? This is called Yogi. 
Yogi. And you'll hear, you'll hear him roll, he sounds extremely hard. Okay. It's a long way for you to reach up to him. It is, so this is where you need a very versatile pointer. Right. What a shot. So that's your ball out of the way, and now load some in there. I can put some points in. Load some in there, I like that. That's it. So that's where you see, you know, having different types of balls can make a big difference, because yep. having a hard ball like that really allows me to smash some space and make this situation a lot easier for it myself. Sounds like a bit of a bowling ball rolling It does, yeah, it's there. really hard. Very, very hard. Left, left, left. Or a cricket ball or something. That's good there. We'll go with Ruby. From Ruby Red. That's him. Fourteen point five. Unbelievable. Yeah. And that's what happens when you practice as, as much as you do. No Dan, doubt. how much would you spend, how many hours a week would you spend training? Um, at least 15 uh, and up to 20 probably hours a week wow. of training on court. Amazing. And then plenty of time off court as well. Um, okay. Watching matches and studying different games and yep. just reviewing stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of effort. And more strategy. When strategy, you yeah. Okay. It's a very strategic game. Yeah. So, Really, uh, yeah, it's got some snooker uh, yeah, parts to it, and then it's a bit like chess as well. There's a lot of different things you can do, so it's a, it's right. a very strategic game yeah, for okay. sure. Yeah, all right. A bit more to the um, right, 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 so. A bit more right, so. A bit more right. Yep, one second. Good. Just gonna get your view from back here. Yeah. Right? We go from 15.25 and we use um, Panda. Oh, great shot. So that's all the balls played. And if we have a look out here. So we can both go out? We can both go out. So we would have a look at over the top. That would show you there's four points for red because uh, yeah, there's four reds closer than the closest blue. I thought I was going okay to start with, but you've just cleaned up with four points. Well, I got four, I didn't get out six. Out of a possible so six, yeah. Not too, yeah. Bad. Not too bad, a bit of respect. Could be yeah. worse, could be worse. Could be a lot worse. That's it. I wish you guys all the very best. I know that you're training super hard yeah. and hopefully you can tick off those goals on the way to Paris and we can turn that bronze into a gold medal. 100%. Fingers crossed. Let's do it. Kids, make sure you go along and follow uh, Dan on social media and when he's playing in the tournaments. That's it. I'm sure you're about to find some coverage and you can watch him play the game. That'd and you can awesome. cheer along from your own living room. Maybe even get out there and try botcha for yourself. Kids, I hope you've learned lots today and I hope you've loved meeting these guys and, and enjoying this game called botcha. We'll see you on our next video of Aussie. Until then, stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a great up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of.